Hello and welcome to Atlassian Demo Den, where you'll learn about the latest and greatest updates with our Open DevOps solution. My name is Andrew Bale, and I'm a software engineer in the Open DevOps team. With Jira Software's latest features, we're removing configuration fuss so developers can get coding quickly. In this video, I'll walk through a scenario where a developer creates a branch, commit, and pull request using auto-generated code to issue linking commands. This automation capability helps teams keep up to date with development progress, allowing developers to spend more time coding and less time in sync meetings. The features I'm showcasing today are available to all Jira Software Cloud users. Let's dive in. So to simulate this development flow, I'm going to first off take a issue from the top of my to-do pile and move it into in progress. Next, I'll assign it to myself. And at this point in my development flow, I have the choice of creating a branch remotely in my chosen source control provider. In my case, it's Bitbucket, but in other cases, it could be GitHub or GitLab. And I can do that by clicking this button here. Otherwise, if I prefer creating a branch locally, I can open this drop down and see a Git command with a pre made uh, branch name for me. This is using the default branch name, but I actually have a preference that I might uh, not want to include the entire issue title here. So I'm going to actually use the uh, configuration state to clean this up for me. So first up, you can see that I've got the issue key, then the issue summary. These are first party variables from Jira to help build uh, branch names to, have, to fit your use case, but involve contextual information about your current ticket. We can also see a preview down here to see what it will look like for your current ticket. My preference is that this is too long, so I might actually remove the issue summary and just include the uh, issue key, which is necessary for code to issue linking. But to help my team know who wrote this uh, branch, I'll put my name in front of it. I can easily just save that, and we can see that that is also updated in the Git command. So I can quickly come to my clipboard. Then after that, I can easily move into my IDE, paste that in, and I'll go ahead and create a, a, a branch locally. I'll also push that up so we can see it reflected on the board. This isn't necessary, but the reason I'm doing this is to demonstrate a feature uh, on the Jira board. So right here, we can see that there is one branch associated with this issue. It's avail slash wood, and we can jump in and see that information if we really need to. Great. So next, what I'm going to do is part of my development flow. I'm going to actually go about writing my code, and for this case, for the case of this example, I will go ahead and just do some issue keys. I'll save that and add it to my stage code environment. And I can even go into Jira and pull out a uh, create commit command for myself. So this is to help me remember what particular issue key I'm on and to also just make it a bit easier in my dev flow to copy this, go into my IDE and paste this such that I can just put in a message that's relevant to what I've done. Do code change. I'll push that up. Great. And once again, if we check out our board, we should be able to see that icon update into a commit, representing that there is a commit on this, this ticket. So for the final part of my development flow, I can open up my issue and create a pull request for my uh, code change. This will create a, open up a link in Bitbucket with a, a pre-filled pull request name, such that the pull request will be linked to this issue as well. So when I click this link, it'll take me to Bitbucket. and put in the uh, change of the, the feature there. I can put in some descriptions for my colleagues. And create a pull request.
Now that that pull request is up, again, I can check out the board. And that information should show up here, such that during standups, my team members can see that there's a pull request waiting for a review, and they can go and check out that uh, pull request over there. And even dive in into it like this. To complete the development flow, I'll uh, approve my own pull request and merge it in. And move it to the done column with this that nice feature. Merge it. Full merge and all good. And now when I refresh my board, I can see that my issue has been moved into the done column. And further than that, I can also see that, yeah, here. Yeah, so I can see that my issue has moved into the done column and that it has a linked approved pull request. This finishes the development flow that uh, has been made simple by the code to issue linking and also demonstrates a number of the features available to you. That concludes today's demo. We're excited about this feature and hope you are too. Please give us your feedback in the comments below and thank you for watching.